Well, I'm a I'm a artistic associate at the Goodman Theater, and I feel like it's a place that's capable of, you know, making my dreams come true. The Goodman and the Looking Glass Theater for me are my twin homes, and my third really is Northwestern University. That's why I've never left the city because I have this um, three part support. A possible virtue I have in directing this and also possible flaw is that I'm intensely over-identified with Marion. I, I feel extremely close to that character and I've cast someone who I think is unbelievably real in the role and grounded and mature. I think the the first scene that really clicked in for me was uh, is Marion's scene with her mother, uh, and really just the casual, um, loving but uh, contentious relationship between the two of them, and how much her mother wants her to get married, and how much Marion doesn't want to marry just anyone. And during a time when it was pretty important to to get married to someone, Harold sort of finds his match. He finds someone that can see right through him the way he sees right through everything else. One challenge is the, the show was written for 56 people, and I have 26, plus a couple of swings and understudies get to be on stage a little bit as well. It's not as easy to create this like giant whole town in that way, uh, but I think we do a pretty good job. 76 trombones led the big parade with 110 cornets close at hand. They were followed by rows and rows of the finest virtuosos, the cream of every famous band. 76 trombones caught the morning sun with 110 cornets right behind. There were more than